Hello everyone, my name is Melanie Darlene Hernandez Garcia and my teammates are Monica de Jesus Montejo Rivera and Maria Jose Ajeda Esteves and we're going to talk about 2000s pop music. Introduction. 2000s pop music was a cultural reset for many reasons. It started in the 2000s decade, music undertook a great evolution in terms of sound and production. With the new millennium came a lot of technological advances in both day-to-day -day appliances like telephones, computers, internet, etc. But technology also played an important part in the music industry, providing it with modern sounding instruments and various tools for production such as autotune. We chose this decade and specifically the genre of pop, because the music made by artists in this time has left a mark that continues to live on today, even though we're now living in the 2020s. First, I'm going to explain the differences between 90s and 2000s pop music, their musical changes and how these two decades differ. The main differences between 90s pop and 2000s pop in the, the 90s were heavily influenced by the newfound genre of dance music, so most of the pop songs that achieved good positions in the charts were very electronic sounding with simple and repetitive lyrics, as opposed to 2000s pop, in which music took influences from various genres and the rise of punk and electronic music made a mark on the songs. They included various different sounds while the lyrics became more elaborate and artists started to have choreographies and big shows. The 2000s were filled with a lot of changes as people became excited with the new wave of artists and the modern instruments that were being used in music and for production such as things as autotune became really popular and they affected music in a very uncanny way. 2000s in pop music was known for the combination of synthesizers with instruments. The implementation of such instruments represented a big jump into the new era of culture, music, and social forms that made the 2000s an iconic social-cultural focus point. The rise of technology and the implementation of it to music brought these new and funky rhythms and dance choreography, making it a big contrast with what would now be described as the classics of the 80s and 90s. It was a much less serious, colorful, an untrend style of music that it is now characterized as its own genre. Apart from the new pop that resurfaced after the 2010s. Furthermore, for younger generations, this era in music and fashion can also be described as being full of nostalgia, making small comebacks every now and then as the generations that enjoyed this music during their childhood and early adolescence grow up reinforcing this as an iconic era. The rise of the internet, media player programs like iTunes and music and video sharing websites like YouTube, as well as the widespread and mainstream use of pitch correcting software autotune and synthesizers, gave the characterized colorful and groovy music style to this genre. Additionally, the emphasis in most songs was on louder, booming percussion rather than the intricate bass lines using bass guitars and bass synthesizers, and even more electrical instruments would use. Out of this concept of implementing technology in music, three new instruments were invented and incorporated into this era. The Fender Aerodyne J Jazz Bass, the Fender Zone Bass, and the Harpagy. The Fender Aerodyne J Jazz Bass is an electric bass guitar created in 2003 and to this date it has been discontinued. The Fender Zone Bass uh, is a fretted electric bass guitar introduced in 2001. And finally, the Harpagy is an electric string musical instrument developed in 2007 and it can be described as a cross between a piano and a guitar. Moving with the main artists of this era, with the popularity of teenage pop artists such as Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and Justin Timberlake, teen pop remained a hugely popular genre in the early 2000s. Boy bands and girl groups remained popular at the start of the, de of the decade, but their appeal faded as, as time went on. The Backstreet Boys, however, remained popular after 2005, and the girl groups included in this category are Destiny's Child and Pussycat Dolls. 
The careers of musicians including Madonna, Janet Jackson, Anastasia, Kylie Minogue, Mariah Carey, Nelly Furtado were revitalized during this period. Lady Gaga dominated the latter half of the decade and brought back pop, pop music's electronic influence. Sales of children's music greatly increased, particular, particularly with Disney. All of the Cheetah Girls albums, High School Musical, and Hannah Montana albums were among the top-selling albums of 2006 and 2007. As we know, fashion is consecutive. It never disappears, if not that we review it according to the approach in which we live. This is something that happened at the time of the 2000s, allowed many can be made, an approach in which fashion was something straight, seeing it for the perspective of now. Many of the things you saw today were done with inspiration of the 2000s. For example, one of the greatest icon of fashion wars, Britney Spears, who is characterized by having dating and wore very close costume. Britney was characterized by the low show pants on the top of the navel, which adorned in with different accessories of the box like ties, small hats, brooches, and twists. And of course, she could not miss that being touched with glitter. As I said before, fashion is a circle in which it will always come back. For example, today, once again, we wore the lower pants and the crop tops. Fashion was characterized by going completely out of the ordinary. For example, we could see many girls of this epoch with the famous jeans and dresses that went so viral that many celebrities wore them on the red carpets. Another thing of this fashion that were most seen in the year was the heat belts. This accessory took a very important role because you could combine it with anything you put. This had a cascading effect and you could find them in different materials and different shapes. Another trend of the year was the print tops. The most common ones you could find were the ultra color effect prints and the newspaper prints. On the other hand, we have the fashion in the shoes and some of the pairs that look most and that continue to be seen are the platform boots. This type of footwear to be stylish gave this look chunky. This could be worn in a low or high shot on the different and we can find in different colors. One accessory that could not be missed was the famous furry coats. These coats were worn in the cold season, and as it said the name, had a particular design with the SD colors and polish. In another category, we have the dresses that had the name baby doll dresses, which as the name said, were spongy dresses of pastel colors and shirt with shoulder pads. As the last in the fashion, we could see the cargo pants, which could be seen with different colors and prints, but the ones that stood out were the military pants, which we could see in different artists and fashion bloggers. All these standards have to do with the music that was lived in this time, since it was a way in which the actor expresses themselves and for which many were recognized by the population because they were inspired to wear the same costumes to be like them. So was this phenomenon that many artists began to bring out their clothing and footwear brands so that the people could dress like them. Finally, we have our conclusion and social impact of the decade. The decade of the 2000s has been very influential and it changed a lot of things for the music industry. Artists began having an even bigger following than before because of all the technology that appeared in our day-to-day -day life. Actually, music was being shared within the new realms of social media and the radio was thriving for one last decade. 
Music trends that in fashion trends from the 2000s continue to be heavily prominent and important today. And a lot of successful artists nowadays, such as Olivia Rodrigo, Harry Styles, and Gail, take direct inspiration from those in the 2000s. Pop's legacy grew significantly in the 2000s. While the 90s had some great pop hits, the 2000s took it to another level, and female artists became even more prominent and took control of the industry. Women like Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Christina Aguilera, Kelly Clarkson, Pink, Katy Perry, Rihanna, Kesha, and Shakira dominated the charts. After our investigation, we realized that the main difference between the 90s and the 2000s pop is that 2000s pop created its own sound, which still defines pop to this day. The 90s were very repetitive and lacked variety, and that's why, in terms of legacy, the 2000s left much more to expect than the 90s. The 2000s were not only a great era for pop music, as pop, punk, rock, and every other genre had a great time and began seeing the spotlight much more than in the 90s. We truly believe that the reason that the 2000s are very remembered and very vary in their music genre is because a lot of people started listening to music from other countries, such as Britain, for example, who at the time had Coldplay, Keen, and every other band that made pop music, got mainstream in the US and made big global successes and managed to get the attention of other countries and such. We have our references here and we thank you for being so patient with us and paying attention.